Hi everybody, welcome to another video. So this is the NSI Water WS400 Series 1 and we're pitting up, up, up against the WS400 Series 2. So the Series 1's been out for about 12 years. The Series 2 came out about four months ago in Europe. Uh, it came out in June, I think, 2022. Uh, and it doesn't come out in the rest of the world until November 2022, apparently. Why they've done that, I'm really not sure. But anyway, it's just the way it is. So just a quick run through how we got here. There's four other videos that I did. Two are independent tests of the two guns. But the first two videos, and I'll put a link in the description to all of the videos so that you can see them if you want to. Originally, the first video was just an unpacking video, just to, just to do a, a spray out pattern test, just to show you how I water had cured the quirk with the S1, which was that if you used it on full fan, normally full fluid, full fan, if you used it like that, it would set the fan would separate. So you'd get a top and bottom heavy uh, pattern with a drier pattern in between. And that was always something that some people struggled with. You could eliminate that by having the fan between one and three quarters and two and a quarter out from fully in. And that would make it spray. You've got a slightly smaller pattern, but it would make it a nice, wet, even pattern. So that's what most people did. And they've been doing that for, for years. So the, the new WS400 Series 2 was launched with with a fanfare that it had it had cured this quirk with the S1 you see so i i got the new gun took it apart had a look at it we run through it on camera and then i did a spray out pattern and i was surprised to see that the series 2 was spraying exactly the same as the series 1 the fan was separating slightly uh, which is a problem obviously if you're painting so as i say i went through a series of um uh, videos to, to get to where I am today and I, it turned out that I hadn't done the tip up tight enough to get this angle there's a um, a split tip on these guns so it's a four split tip and what you need on the series two to get it to spray properly is you need one slit at 12 o'clock one at three o'clock one at six o'clock and one at nine o'clock and the one at nine o'clock and three o'clock obviously needs to be opposite the air horns with the air hole so that it can um, draw the fluid out. Uh, and if you don't get it like that, then it actually splits the pattern, just as the old one did. And then it got me thinking, well, if I, I try that on the old one, so you have it slightly offset, and that's how you will see this being used, which is why the gun's at a slight angle. You see me using it now, the gun's at a slight angle. And that's to get that tip at three o'clock and at nine o'clock to the so that it's level with the air horns. And then I discovered that the series one sprayed exactly the same as the series two. You you could use it on full fluid, and you got a good pattern. What you will also find with the series one, which is as I say what we're seeing here, with the series one, it depends how old the gun is and what gun it is, because some of the tips line up easier than others. Some of them you need the gun at more of an angle to get that at the three o'clock and the nine o'clock than others. So I've seen four different WS 400s uh, since I got the WS series two and each one, the tip lines up at a slightly different place, and obviously it will alter to the amount you tighten it up. Anyway, as I say, it's all in the other video, so let's look at these guns independently. So this one is the WS400 Series 1. And it's a 1.5 HD. Now, I only had a 1.5 HD, whereas the other one, the Series 2, is in a 1.3 HD. But you can see that with that slight modification, and you'll see it now, where the, the, the it's, it's actually just at a slight angle, it makes, the, it makes this gun spray as good, in my opinion, as the Series 2. And the Series 2, when it's set up properly, make no mistake, it is a very, very good gun. It's a very capable clear gun. Uh, this split tip technology does work on these guns, and it does atomize finer. Apparently, it's patented, 
So that's why other manufacturers haven't used it. But it does make it spray finer and you do notice it. And I think it was lost on the original WS Series 1 because of this, this problem you used to get. But setting it up, as I say, as a Series 2, the Series 1 works just as well, in my opinion. It works just as well. And it speeds the gun up as well. Um, you can get a bigger fan with it. You can open a foot fl 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 fluid fully. Uh, and it, it pumps out nicely. They're still slow. Both of these guns are still slow compared to a SATA 5000, uh, the Walcom uh, Carbonio, the 360, the light version. Um, what else? Oh, the Segola 460. They all pump out a lot more in the same tip sizes in 1.3s, etc. They really pump it out, whereas this still doesn't pump it out. But it does atomize very, very fine. So I think that's the trade-off. And all, as I say, all these split-tip guns, whether you're talking about the Kiwami 4s, uh, the WBX, W400, WBXs, WBs, they all have this split-tip. Some have three, some have four, but they all have this split-tip. And it does slow them down, but it does actually atomise better, I think. So we're going on... This one's the, the Series 2. Uh, and as you can see, we do a spray-out next to it we treat everything exactly the same they were actually done on two different days these they were done um one was done one afternoon and the other one was done um uh, the following morning but the temperature was more or less the same that for the series one it was 24 degrees and for the series two it was 23 degrees i warmed the clear up to about 32 34 degrees so within a degree this is all celsius by the way within a degree celsius uh everything is the same because that is quite important because you can lay a bit more material on when it's warmer it's it's e much easier to paint when it's warmer um something in the uk we don't normally get but we had quite a hot summer this year so it was it was something that um uh, it was quite a joy for me to be able to paint in the warmer conditions but it does make a difference to it the gun settings i've put on the screen anyway but the gun settings were basically the same all being used at two bar or 29 psi uh, and both on full fan and full fluid which is what we were talking about earlier the fact that you couldn't use the original one on full fan so for both full fan both full fluid both giving a good pattern and you'll see on the spray out now that the pattern is actually more or less the same you'll see that the one on the left which is the original um series one pattern uh is fuller on the right hand side than the left hand side and that's just because it was a a longer pull on the right hand side and i did all three with the series one uh sorry series two with a longer pull but if you look at the one on the right hand side of the series one and compare it to the series uh two they're exactly the same so to all intents purposes to me these things spray exactly the same so my argument here is that if you've got a series one you're better off trying to put that that little thing to the test i was saying about of getting your air horns level with the splits in the tip but it will mean holding the gun at an angle normally unless you're really lucky it'll mean holding the gun at an angle but try it because in my opinion it sprays just as well as the series two does and as i say these are the same panels you can see that uh, you can look back at it and you can see the speed there's 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 no difference between the two in this one the series one is actually a bit faster and that's simply because it's slightly bigger tip um 1.5 instead of 1.4 capsi we're using capsi clear which is 9030 both both gears are obviously exactly the same you'll see the second run is slower than the first and that's simply because with the capsi it's it's a three quarter coat then a full wet coat which is what the the manufacturer recommends so that's what i uh, that's what i go by so in my opinion the series one is just as good as the series two make no mistake the series two is an excellent gun very very expensive which for me has, has probably taken the edge off it a bit especially having a series one and as i say setting it up the same then it, it, it to me it, it makes no difference the series one is just as good as the series two but if you haven't got one then 
you know, pretty soon all you're going to be able to buy new anyway will be the Series 2 in the end anyway. So both of them very, very, very good guns when used when used in this way. The original Series 1 in my sort of like, in my head of clear guns was probably about sixth, I would think. I would probably place it six. I haven't done a top 10 uh, clear gun video. I will do. It's in the making, but I haven't actually put where I'm going to put the guns yet because I do that nearer the time because it, it takes a bit working out sometimes. Price obviously comes into it, which will weigh heavily against this one. But I would think it'll probably be about third place, something like that. Um, but it's definitely it's definitely moved it up. But as I say, the original one would has moved up as well, as long as you do this with it. So we'll look at the panels now when we're finished to see what you um, what you think of them. Obviously, I did it. I was I was uh, when you see it on video, you can't always convey what you're trying to convey. Um, but when you see the two panels in a second, I think you'll agree that you can't really split them. I don't think you can split them. This is the series one. The first vi the first one is the series one. I'm trying to get here to show you the peel or, or lack of it. It does give a really, really nice finish. Uh, you can see that that's how I, I keep a tab on which one's which after they're both finished. But this one is four, uh, sorry, three days after it was first applied. The Series 2 was two days after it was first applied. So any initial dieback has, has been and gone, although the capsule doesn't die back, to be honest. So, you know, it's no different to uh, if it was fresh off the job. But as I say, this is the Series 2, and I can't really see any, any difference between them. We're going to look at it in a second without the sunlight. This is, It's not actually strong sunlight, but you can see there's a shadow. It is reasonable sunlight. And we'll look at it next uh, with no sunlight, just uh, 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 towards dusk, really. And it gives a, a better idea of the shine you can achieve. But that's the Series 1, the one you see on the screen now. And the one to the right is the Series 2. And I can't see any difference between the two of them. If you can, then, you know, be my guest. But obviously, I was taking a video. And as I say, I can't see any difference between the two. So both guns, thoroughly recommended. If you're looking to save some money, just modify slightly um, your Series 1 and you'll have a Series 2. Uh, and if you're looking to, you know, buy a second-hand one, get a Series 1 and just set it up like this because it, it performs exactly the same. It is definitely different to the way the original one uh, performed. It is it is faster like this, although it's still not as fast as some, as I said. Okay, guys, well, thanks for watching the video. I'm just trying to get a bit closer here to show you the peel, really, or lack of it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and you keep watching them, and I'll keep them coming. And if you like what you've seen, think about giving us a subscription. Cheers, guys. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.